We're approaching three years since tornadoes devastated much of Alabama. 64 people lost their life here in Tuscaloosa County. And tonight we begin a week of special reports. Some of the first people who learned of the destruction were the 911 dispatchers. WVUA's Jennifer Edwards joins us live from the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office with this story. Jennifer. The communication center is located in the basement of the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Department. Now, dealing with emergencies is something dispatchers in the center are used to, but many say working on the night of April 27th is one they'll never forget. Yeah, so I've got a visual. It's headed north, northwest. Headed north, northwest, on the ground. I couldn't see the storm coming. I could just listen to my guys, the way they were sounding and telling me what they were saying. Stationed in the basement of the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Department, communications supervisor Reva Strickland says she and her team of dispatchers had no idea just how serious the storm swirling above them was. When you're in this mode and you're in dispatch, you know your only job is the safety of others. Our supervisor was telling him, you've got to get your dispatchers away from that window. And one of them finally got out of the chair and was going to walk away. And 911 rang again. And she went right back. You, we don't leave. You just don't. When we get ambulances available, we got two critical North Street uh, Preservation. Two critical First Street Northeast. Strickland says calls started pouring in almost immediately. I got four females this hurt. And so my cat story, I'm up on Crystal Lane. I needed that much also. That day, everything was major. So you had to finish a call before you could go to another call. And I know that had to be overwhelming for all of us. To ease the call load, Strickland says each station doubled up on personnel. One building calls, one taking phones, writing notes, making lists of where the trees were, where the people needed help, what they needed. You had an address and you had to get there because you knew somebody needed something there. I'm at uh, 15th Street and where Slotsky's is with a severely injured man and I'm doing first aid. 10-4, if they need to get to the ER, you're going to have to take them. Being used to assisting deputies with anything they needed in the field, Strickland says telling them ambulances were unavailable may have been one of the hardest situations she dealt with that day. You never want to tell them that help's not coming. So that was gut-wrenching for me. But she says the way they responded is what she'll remember most. They just kept their calm told me exactly what they needed, what they were dealing with, and we just picked it up and started going with it. And the guys are awesome. They're absolutely awesome. Reflection of April 27th continues tomorrow with Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's deputies. You'll hear more radio calls and they'll show stories of what they remember from working that day. Live in Tuscaloosa County, Jennifer Edwards, WVUA News. Back to you. Join Alabama's home team for a week of special coverage. Faces of the storm three years later. Special reports will air all week at 5, 6, and 10. Tweet us where you were on April 27th using the hashtag WVOA Remembers. Some of your responses may be used on the air. And for a list of remembrance events around our area, visit our website, WVOATV.com.